Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode. Today we're talking about Harry Potter RPG, which will be coming out on consoles and PC, potentially. This is something that we saw a trailer for um, way back last year, and it looked amazing. It looked like a polished console game for Harry Potter. It had the wizarding world, and it looked like it was going to be legit. Um, but there was nothing about it. No kind of like confirmation from WB. But, you know, confirmation was was said alone. I uploaded the trailer and so did a lot of other people. And within minutes, it was taken down for copyright. Um, which says something, doesn't it? It says that they were aware that this leak was happening and they didn't want people to see it. It was meant to be a focus group for certain people going through a, a Walmart store, I think it was. Uh, people were randomly selected and showed it and somebody managed to get record footage of it. So um, I do still have the footage of that. Um, we can take a look at it with the sound off. Maybe it won't get copyrighted. Hopefully it doesn't. Um, but this, as we can see here on the Reddit, is the leak. So these are the things that they stated we can expect from it. So we'll go back to that. Um, so this person apparently works for WB Marketing. They plan this year to show off the game, among others. And here is what we know about the game. I won't be called Harry Potter. It won't be called Harry Potter anything. Okay. Which is, I think, good. I feel like a Harry Potter game, I, if it's going to be good, it doesn't need to have Harry Potter in the title to be a unique period of time. Fantastic Beast does not contain the word Harry Potter. Um, and if you want to continue this this fandom around it, I don't think you need to use that name to sell something. And if it is called Hogwarts Dark Legacy, then I'm all in. That's really good. Um, other things that we have the piece of information. Um, this person who did post this was, uh, they actually set up an account and freshly posted this. They weren't somebody who's been posting frequently. So it looks like a one-off post. Which seems like a quite a bizarre thing to do if you were doing this un in unlegitimate. Unlegitis? Unlegitimately. <laughs> Unlegitimately. I could, don't know what the word is. Illegitimate. If it's not leg... <laughs> and that sounds a little bit suspicious to me in terms of why would you set up a new account and then do it but then maybe also you'd expect somebody to leak it to be already be in the reddit a reddit user and maybe then they'd do it um yeah and maybe who knows whether it's real but there are a few things in here which might give us some indications so first of all you get to customize your character it's not super detailed but the looks the models look male or female you are fifth year a student at hogwarts uh, who transfers from another wizard school i don't know why but it's a major plot detail later on in the game apparently you play through all the way until graduation and then in your year in your first year as an aura you get to determine if your character is muggleborn pure blood or half blood so it looks like they become an aura half blood um, that decision will provide unique dialogue and minor quest options um which i think is good that we get the option to choose from those things we already knew that you were going to get to change your character because the trailer does show that based on decisions you make regarding your character in the creation screen this determines what house you will get sorted in at hogwarts yes if this is true finally we get the choice taken out of our hands Harry Potter, Hogwarts Mystery, um, Harry Potter Puzzles and Spells, you get to choose what what, um, what house you're in. And and that's not the magic of, Harry, of going to Hogwarts. The magic is you go there and you don't know who you're going to be. You may have an indication of who you want to be. I will want to be Gryffindor, but who knows? Um, so I'm glad that, that if it does have that in that, there's a really much wanted thing on my, on my end. Uh, each of the four houses has a unique quest line. However, regardless of the house you're in, you can't side with the villain. That doesn't mean you will make good decisions all the time, though. We were told that there are major moments in the game that can result in deaths of important characters based on your decisions. I like that. That's I think people do like that choice to be good or evil. Otherwise, it doesn't seem as open. And you don't feel like your decisions mean as much. Game game uh, takes place after the Harry Potter series. Now, this is the, the thing that 
I am questioning most. The game takes place after the Harry Potter series, after his children go to to and graduate from Hogwarts, and they were told main antagonist is not Voldemort level, but is formidable and a former Death Eater. There are multiple antagonists in the game, expectations for multiple sequels, and your character has a set last name that everyone would call him her by. If it is Hunter. <laughs> That'd be great, but very unlikely. Multiple book characters make appearances. However, they are keeping this under wraps, except expect Harry Potter though to make an appearance at some points so maybe uh, an old old Harry Potter Dumbledore age maybe we'll see um, skill tree is robust five different branches to focus your characters and magical abilities as well as perks that can unlock after so many amount of points in a tree you're shown a perk that allows your character to slow combat for a brief moment, another perk that allows you to control monsters for a certain amount of time, and there's also good evil points. If you veer towards evil, you can learn more powerful spells, however you cannot learn any of the major forbidden ones, unfortunately. There is classroom assignments that have difficult puzzles which can provide significant bonuses to your character as well. Story and combat are slow burn, but we were told that the game builds up to some insane moments. Combat is fluid, but relies on timing and tactics. You cannot button mash and win. Your character also has so much energy at any given time. You fight other wizards, creatures, etc. And there is also dual system for rivals, which is what we did see in the, tribal, in the uh, trailer. So some quite good PvP type play. Uh, maybe in PvP, maybe PvE. In non-missions, your character doesn't reload from a previous save. Instead, wakes up in the infirmary with some temporary negative effects. Okay, I, I like I like there to be a consequence to dying. Um, more than just where you can just save it and load, which you know, do in a lot of games. A reimagined version of the Nemesis system used in the Shadow of Mordor games is this one, is in this one. It's not as robust as those games in terms of quantity, but uh, instead it's very detailed on the few rival that it generates. It creates rivals for your character. The main rival is randomly generated via the system, and he and she will be unique to each playthrough, however voiced by the same voice actors. Uh, so what will we will see voice actors in this that's good this rival can be beaten killed or made an ally based on decisions that you make in the game okay point number nine this is very detailed if this is real if this is not real somebody's gone a lot a long way to be able to think about what it could look like um but if this is real why is this person saying this they will have signed an NDA um, if they work for Warner Brothers. And by posting this, they have just broken their NDA and therefore are liable to be sued, right? Um, but maybe, I mean, how are you going to figure out who this person is? Maybe they have some grievance against them and that's why they're like, you know what, I'm going to post this. Or maybe it's just somebody who's a little bit like, you know, I want to post something that changes, shakes things up. Who knows? Lots of exploring, four different hubs that are extremely detailed and offer lots of NPCs, non-playable characters, interactions, secrets and quests. Hogwarts and Hogsmeade and the Ministry are the three I know of, not sure what the fourth one is. Most of the game takes place in Hogwarts, however you will have missions in some surprising locations. And the end game takes place in London when you work for the Ministry. The game gets extremely dark and is not made for children, so it won't be a super kid-friendly game. The game is more for fans who read the books and are now older. Expect a T or possibly M rating for the violence and dark themes. That's good. I mean, the movies are, they're pretty violent in that, you know, we always see deaths. It's fiction and therefore it's not as severe and we don't really see blood. We see more people being stupefied, but... um. I, I, I'm, I welcome a game that's a little bit more mature. You play as a different character at some point in the game. I believe it's the main antagonist, but I don't know. It's only for a few missions, and the developers said will be very fun and have a big surprise. Okay. <laughs> the developers It will be very fun, and it will have a big surprise. I've just said that in a meeting. Missions as the aura were inspired by L.A. Noir's investigations. However, there isn't many not sure if the actual amount... However, there isn't many not sure if the actual amount. I mean, that's some solid grammar there. Uh, there are romance options. Your character can actually marry someone and they will be your spouse in the end of the game. 
we are creating and finding Penny. There are also companions that go on missions with you and you can command. Expect a trailer and then gameplay before August. Game is expected to be released around June of 2021. If you have any questions that I've answered, feel free to ask and I'll try my best to answer. And this guy has answered questions. You know, there are people saying, <laughs> Source, dude, trust me. Yeah, man, trust me. In all seriousness, I don't know what to provide that wouldn't pinpoint exactly who I am at WB. Yeah, it is It is impossible for him to confirm whether he is. Um, so we're left with that inability. Uh, apparently, it's going to be for next-gen consoles and PC. Um, I'd like to be playing it on PC or help with recording. And somebody posted, I'm confused. Wasn't this supposed to be in the 1800s? That's way before Potter. Not expected, but not the game I was shown. However, there is a secondary character you play in the game that could be possibly be the 1800s you're referring to. That could be, that feels a little bit like, it's like, oh, you've caught me out. Um, here's, here's this character, and they could be playing the 1800s for a bit of the game. But what we saw released was pure 1800s. I swear. I mean, other questions. Who's who? What you said about the game takes place has me intrigued. The game, yeah, prior a lot of people having curiosity with the the date, and they wouldn't tell us the fourth hub location. I feel like they would tell you the thing that was already leaked more likely than the other stuff. Nah. More like advanced marketing campaign or a fun rumor. Yeah, another possibility. Good, good, good point there, Horoika. Is that this could be a okay? Somebody, there's not much hype around the game. Let's start building it up. We'll have a leak on it and see whether people believe us. Um, any other? A lot of other points. Okay, a lot of people just discussing whether if it was true. OP is a liar. OP is planning to quit his job soon or something similar. similar. OP is actually is a marketing agent who understands how the internet functions and got permission from WB to leak this in order to create pre-hype for the initial movie. I mean, that's what I just said, wasn't it? WB knows if details are leaked, it will create a feedback loop of people take, talking about the game. Uh, I guess that's meant to be talking before they actually reveal anything, thus setting the reveal up for a better reception. Plot thickens. This was posted on, of all places, on 4chan. I work for WB Marketing. They plan this year to shove the game among other, others. Okay. I'm guessing, is this the, the clip that we, I've seen? Skip tree is robust based on decisions. Okay, it looks like the same post, right? I work for WB Mar not not true anymore. <laughs> yeah, you probably got fired for re <laughs> for releasing the information. So let's take a look at this trailer. Need to turn the sound off for this part. Okay, so we do have a copy. I've lost the, my copy, but we're still on um, YouTube. Somebody was allowed to keep this up. And let's so let's take a look out of it. I look at it. I'll move my head out of the way, and we'll just give me your thoughts on. We'll have a little bit of discussion about whether we think it fits with what we've just been told in that leak uh, so we can see whether it's real or not. Bye bye. <laughs> All right, we'll be playing with sound off so I don't get, it doesn't get copyright strike. A graph on. It's another graph on. Hmm. Just the outfits are looking very eighteen hundreds, not very futuristic. This fits with what we know about you can customize your own character, so that works. But what 
console game doesn't allow you to do that. I mean, it's cool. Moon calves. Moon calves. See some spells at work. Okay, so if this is outside of the school, it does look, look a little bit more modern, but still... I mean, maybe wizards start... They change their style and they're like, maybe the 1800s is in. It's like, that style is in. It's back in. Nah. What's that? It's like the bones of a dragon. That's, it looks like a troll to me. Some, some more trolls. See, when, when I first saw this, I was like, this isn't fake. Because it's too good. You'd have gone too... Why would you create this? Like, you have too much time on your hand if that is something that you have actively created. And hey, if you've done that, why not just create the game and take it to Porky Games and go... Can you, uh, can you, uh, can you give me some rights to be able to release this? Maybe that would be really good. Bye bye, video capture. Hello, webcam. Hello again. We're back. So, personally, there are things that fit, but they're the more obvious things that you'd expect from a console game. The setting does not seem like this is you get to play as a character from the 1800s in one part of the game. The game set in the future, like the future, it just doesn't fit. And that's what makes me think this is a false leak. God, I, I could, I feel like I could make, based on that trailer, I could make a better fake leak than that one that sounds more realistic. Maybe they th said, Okay, you know, the feedback, 1800s wasn't big. But then they changed it up and thought, all right, we're going to make it in the future rather than the past. Because it was a very, very early bit of footage um, in the game's development. So it's not something like, 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 it's not something that they can't change. But I feel if you were in WB Marketing, you might have some understanding of that was the first initial concept and then maybe also like you might say yeah they changed the concept based on feedback it could also be that 1800s is back in fashion wise but i'm not buying that i'm not buying that theory by me <laughs> it's a terrible theory um so but it does it it was been it was quite nice to go through that and just start thinking about the game again because it's been so long since we had that leak um, October 2018 that was released. I thought it was last year. It was two years ago. So in terms of the timeline of, okay, we're going to get a game trailer before August this year, and the game's releasing 2021, that's a good three years of development, which seems right. The person who leaked this gains nothing other than a little bit of popularity on short-lived popularity and hype around this fake leak for a while but you don't gain anything monetary wise so i don't i can't see the incentive in going to such lengths to dupe the community but yeah some people are out there they have plenty of time on their hands i don't know what are your thoughts let me know in the comment section below if it is true thoughts on the concept anyway um yeah be excited to hear your feedback that is all for this one hopefully you found it enjoyable if you have please leave a like on the video hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content that is all for me see you guys soon